you think of field trips, you think of parents signing permission forms, a day off class, tumbling into a big yellow school bus, and doing something other than your math homework. Sometimes, though, things don't always go as planned. Nudist Beach in San Diego, a troop of Cub Scouts, consisting of mostly nine-year-olds, parents, and troop leaders, were hiking along the coastline when they came upon something odd. Along the beach were people in stages of undress. They'd stumbled onto a nudist beach. Parents quickly tried to reroute the troop and were not impressed by one of the leaders trying to assure them that he and his family go through here all the time. Sure you do, buddy. Plantation. A fourth grade class in Georgia went on a trip to a plantation house to learn more about the region's history. Everything was meant to be authentic, and actors were dressed accordingly. There were all kinds of activities for the elementary school students to participate in, including some ill-planned ones. The class was split into two, with all the ethnic children being sent to pick cotton in the fields, while the white children played dress-up in the house. Water Park Normally, a water park field trip is every kid's dream. One school's trip to Barcelona turned into a nightmare, however. With temperatures reaching over 30 degrees Celsius, teachers told students to make sure they were using strong sunblock to avoid burns. Kids being kids and teachers not being able to actually force the students to apply sunblock, after six hours at the park, several students had received serious burns. One student received such terrible burns which blistered so badly that he had to be admitted into a burn ward upon their return. Youch! Mountain Pass. A few years back, a teacher took her class of 39 girls 2,500 feet up a mountain for a trip, wearing skirts and sneakers. For some reason, she had forgotten to bring either a compass or a map. They got lost and were stranded in heavy and disorienting mist for several hours before calling 999. Trying to protect themselves from the elements, they were found wearing black garbage bags over their legs and feet. Mortuary. A high school in New York City brought a group of students from the Forensic Science Club to the Staten Island of Mortuary. If that wasn't creepy enough, students noticed a jar in a cabinet with a brain floating in formaldehyde. The name on the jar? Well, a fellow classmate that had died in a car crash a couple of months before. News traveled back to his family quickly. They later sued the city of New York's medical examiner as they had not been informed that their son's brain had been retained for further testing when they buried him. Beach Voyage during a beach field trip in Galveston, Texas, a 12-year-old girl from Kip Voyage Academy went missing. While at the beach with 19 classmates and two teachers, the young Samira Carlin disappeared while swimming. She was 30 yards from the shore, standing on a sandbar with a teacher and several other girls. When some of the other girls became frightened, the teacher brought them back to shore. But when she looked back, Samira was nowhere to be seen. Coast Guard searched for four hours that Thursday afternoon and all day Friday before her body was found. Most Wanted Chaperone In Washington State, while chaperoning an elementary school field trip, another parent recognized someone. Not from the latest PTA meeting, but from an episode of the regional version of the popular TV show, America's Most Wanted. Described as a highly violent offender, the fugitive was on the run from a series of past crimes, including assaulting a police officer. When confronted, the man ran, but later turned himself in. That's our video, guys. Which one of these segments do you think was the most traumatizing? Let us know in the comments. And while you're here, check out these other videos, and don't forget to click like and subscribe. Thanks!